Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. I'm going to do a really quick video on a quick overview of what the words sine, cosine, and tangent mean in math. It's surprisingly easy, they're just fractions, and all they really mean is a ratio of sides. So we need to know a little bit about triangles first, and I'll start there. This notation right here means triangle. If I have triangle ABC is congruent with that little squiggle line above the equal sign, to triangle DEF, that means they are identical. Every angle is the same and every side is the same. And every part of them is the exact same measure. However, if I have triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, that means these two triangles are similar. And similar means the ratios of sides are the same and the measure of the angles are the same. So I could have an isosceles right triangle like this where it's 1, 1, root 2, and the angles are 45 degrees and 45 degrees and 90. Or I could have another isosceles right triangle where the side is 10, 10, 10, root 2, and the angles are 45 degrees still. And these two triangles are called similar because the angles are the same and the ratios of sides are the same. And that's what these three words are going to mean. They're going to mean the ratio of sides. A couple other things to really note before we get started is a uppercase letter is always a measure of an angle. So capital A is a measure of this angle here. Lowercase a is always opposite angle A. And the size of this leg is dependent on the size of this angle. That's a big part of trigonometry as well. So capital letter B is this angle here. So this is B. This would be side B. Angle C is this angle right here, a right triangle, meaning 90 degrees. And then this is side C. All of this right triangle trig is only going to work in our right triangles, meaning one angle is uh, 90 degrees. In a right triangle, I have two legs and a hypotenuse. That hypotenuse is always the longest side and it is always opposite the right angle. I could use the Pythagorean theorem if I have any of the two sides to find the hypotenuse. I could say 4 squared, 16, plus 3 squared, 9, should be equal to whatever this is. Square root of 16 plus 9, square root of 25 is 5. So I could use Pythagorean theorem. All right, we're almost ready to get started on these three Greek words. Um, before we do that, let me go over one more thing. Actually, two more things. The first is exact versus approximate. Exact means you're going to leave it in fractional form, um, square root form, or in terms of the Greek letter pi. Approximate means a decimal approximation using a calculator. There are two approximate value triangles you have to know and memorize. That's an isosceles right triangle. Isosceles means two legs are the same. Right means it has a right angle. Again, this is only right triangles that we're looking at. The ratios of sides in any isosceles right triangle will always be the same. One leg is 1, the other leg is 1, the hypotenuse is root 2. This could be 5. If this were 5, this would be 5, and this would be 5 root 2. If this was 23, this is 23, this is 23 root 2. And that's always going to be true when the angles are 45 and 90. The second right triangle you need to know is a 30, 60, 90 where one angle is 30, the side opposite that angle is 1, the side opposite 60 is root 3. I could use the Pythagorean theorem to get square root of 4 or 2. This could be 19. If this is 19, this is twice that amount, 38, and this would be 19 root 3. With all that said, now let's take a look at these three Greek words. Sine, sometimes abbreviated S-I-N, but still pronounced sine, uh, is a ratio of the opposite over hypotenuse, so it's just a ratio of two sides. Cosine, abbreviated COS, is a ratio of the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and tangent, abbreviated TAN, is a ratio of the opposite over the adjacent. So if the problem is, say, what is a tangent of 45 degrees, so the tangent of 45 degrees, I look at that angle, What's opposite 45? Well, there's a 1, and if I'm in blue, opposite, adjacent means next to, it'd be 1 over 1. So tangent of 45 degrees is equal to 1. If I had the 5s, it would still be the same ratio, 5 over 5. 
or if it was 23, this would be 23. 23 over 23 still equals 1. If I were to ask you the sine, let's say the sine of 30 degrees, you'd have to think about this triangle of 30, 60, 90. The sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, so the sine of 30 is 1. That's the opposite side. The hypotenuse is 2, so the sine of 30 is 1 half. If you enter a sine of 30 on your calculator, you'll get that decimal approximation, 0.5. A similar triangle of 19 and 38 in black here. Sine of 30 is also 19 over 38, but that fraction right there still reduces to a half, so the ratio of sides are always the same. Really quick overview. I uh, hope it's making sense. I'll just say a little bit more about it. Um, let's do a cosine one. Let's say the cosine of 30 or adjacent to that 30 is at root 3. So cosine of 30 is adjacent, so it's going to be root 3 over hypotenuse 2. And that's your ratio of sides. It's actually really useful uh, because there are six pieces in a triangle, three sides and three angles. Remembering that the length of the side is dependent on the angle. So if you only have a few of those pieces, you can find all the other pieces. So if you have an angle and a side, you can find all the other angles and all the other sides using a calculator, and it'll work for every single right triangle. Okay, again, this is Chapter 11. Quick overview to help prepare you for a standardized test, whether it's an ASVAB or whether it's a union entrance exam. Um, I'll put a link to all of the previous videos in the description. Uh, sure hope that helped. I know it's a quick overview. I'll talk more about trig, but I'm just trying to give you an overview of what those three words mean. So please comment below if you have any questions. I'll happily answer them in the comment section or even make a video to answer them. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you.